Ladies and gentlemen, we are living in the future. I want to introduce you to a new tool for my friends at NVIDIA called NVIDIA AI. NVIDIA AI lets anyone, and I mean anyone, like your grandmother, your two-year-old, create a video as long as they just have an idea. You don't need to know how to edit. You don't need to know how to write a script. You don't need to know how to do anything besides type a prompt into NVIDIA AI, and it generates high-quality HD video content for you. It scripts everything. It's amazing and you can try it for free. I will link to it down below. But before you go try it for free, make sure you watch this demo first so you can see how to use it. So here's what NVIDIA AI looks like when you first open it. Now, right in this field, you can type in an idea for a video or you can get a little more advanced and hit select workflow here. I'm going to select YouTube Explainer. And in this field, I can select how long I want my video to be. I'm going to grab 30 seconds. And let's just pick any random topic. I'm going to make this video about what to pack for a cruise vacation. In this next field, you can give some more creative direction if you want, but this is totally optional. For the background music, I'm going to select tropical upbeat. For the voice, I'm going to select a male voiceover and I can pick lots of different accents. I'm going to do a New Yorker accent. That's funny. And this last option is about where I want in video AI to pull my video clips from. So if you drop down here, you can see the default is to use iStock normally. iStock is a very high quality media library from Getty, but in video AI can pull from other stock media sites. Now, why would you not want the highest quality media when you're working with NVIDIA AI? It's because the paid version of NVIDIA goes off of a credit system. So the iStock clips actually cost you more credits when you go to download your video. I'm going to select use fewer iStock media so you can see what the more basic clips and images look like as well. And then I'll hit generate a video. All right, now it's going to give me this next pop-up window and it's going to ask me who my audience is. I'm going to select vacation planners for look and feel. Let's leave it on bright and for platform, let's keep it to YouTube and I'm going to hit continue. And now in video AI is going to do its work. All right, it looks like our video is done. That took only about a minute. That was pretty quick. Let's hit the play button and see what we got. I ever wonder what to pack for a cruise vacation. No worries, we've got you covered. Start with the basics like swimwear, sunscreen, and a good book. Don't forget formal wear for dining nights and a light jacket for breezy evenings. Pack a reusable water bottle to stay hydrated and save the planet. Remember your passport, tickets, and any necessary medication. Stay prepared, stay stylish, and most importantly, enjoy the voyage. Okay, that was pretty good, but what if I wasn't entirely happy with it? I can edit this video from this point on. So let me show you how to do that. Just hit this edit button and now you'll get these other new windows. You get an edit media button, an edit script button, or you can type in a command and it gives you some prompts here to give you an idea of what types of prompts you could give it. I'm going to first suggest switch narrator to a female voice with an American accent. Let's hit generate. And now it's regenerating the voiceover and let's have a listen. Ever wonder what to pack for a cruise vacation? Now you can see that this video has watermarks all over it. When you go to download from NVIDIA AI, you can remove those watermarks. So don't worry about that. You'll also notice that sometimes in this view between the clips, there might be like a quick flash frame of black. Don't worry about that either. When you download those disappear as well. And most importantly, enjoy the voyage. All right, I do like the female voiceover better, but I still want to switch out some of these shots. So I'm going to select edit media. And you can see it gives me this window where it shows me all of my different video clips. And as I click on each clip, it highlights what line of the script that clip is covering. So I'm going to search reusable water bottle and see what comes up. Now, some of these are still images and some of them are videos and you'll know the difference because the videos have like a little timestamp in the bottom right corner. And when you hover over them, you can see what the motion is of the video. I'm going to grab this image instead, and then I'm going to hit the apply button. Let's go back and edit this first shot as well, because I do feel like the text that they lay over here is kind of hard to read over this busy background. So I'm going to select edit media and let's search for a cruise ship. 
Now, what if I also wanted to change what the script said? I could do that too. So in this section where it talks about packing formal wear for fancy dinners, I'm going to edit this script and I'm going to change this to don't forget great outfits for photo ops. I'm gonna hit apply changes. All right, let's listen to that new voiceover. Great outfits for photo ops. Pack a reusable water bottle to stay hydrated and safe. And I also want to change that shot from this suitcase to kind of like an Instagram-y photo. All right, so now that we're happy with our video, we can export it in high definition. I'm just going to hit the back button and I'm going to hit the export button. I'm going to check all my settings. I'm happy with these. And now we just wait. All right, my video is done, let's download it. And you can see that I get a high quality MP4 file from NVIDIA with no watermarks. So you just saw how quickly and easily I made a video start to finish using NVIDIA AI. You know, as a longtime producer and editor, these AI tools are pretty wild. I think it's crazy that anyone with an idea can just whip up a video this fast with NVIDIA AI. Now remember, you can try it for free, but if you want to get the videos without the watermarks. Uh, you can subscribe to NVIDIA AI for like as low as 20 bucks a month, but definitely check out the free version because I think it's really fun to use. And if you get stuck, NVIDIA does have like 24 seven live chat support. They also have a great YouTube channel. I'll link to down below. That's a great resource for you as well. What do you guys think about all of this AI technology? I think it's I think it's cool. I'm actually kind of into it. I'm not really threatened by it. Let me know how you feel though down in the comments. You guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'll see you again.